Hi there, Mark here again, and in this video I'm going to be cutting out, painting and detailing this fantastic body shell for the Tamiya AcroShot racing truck on the DTO3 chassis. So in the manual you get the instructions of how to cut out the body, which it shows you there, uh, how to paint it, which is in PS23 gunmetal grey and PS5 black for the bed. We've got fitting the little wing on the back, and then how to apply the stickers. But if you know me, you'll probably know that I'm not going to follow this. Well, I'm going to put these stickers on anyway, or most of them. But as for the paints, I'm not going to go with gunmetal. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. I've already been uh, cutting out some of the decals or stickers, as you can see, trying to work out my design. But the first thing I need to do is get this thing cut out. So I'll start as usual by just loosely trimming off the excess. making sure not to cut through the rear wing there on the back. Right, now that's out of the way, I can get a nice sharp pair of Lex and scissors and uh, cut right up to these body lines. And these are some of the strangest shaped wheel arches I've ever come across. They're not uh, constant curves, as you can see. I've uh, not got it quite right here, so I will need to get some uh, wet and dry paper and uh, smooth that into shape. Well, for what is quite a simple body shape, that was a lot of work, I've got to say, rubbing that down. Um, because, as I said, these are kind of a complex curve shape. It goes quite a sharp curve there, and then it smooths out and uh, it took quite a lot of rubbing down but uh, I think I've got it pretty close now. So I thought I'd have a go at a two-tone blue paint scheme. So I've got a PS3 light blue, a PS4 which just says blue but it's quite a dark blue and I'm thinking that uh, the light blue on the front so that'll be on the on the nose or the bonnet and the rest of the car at the back will be the darker blue which I think will contrast quite well with the sticker colours. So, um, how am I going to separate the two? Well, I'm going to put a bit of masking tape uh, on the inside of the body. And the reason I cut a few of the stickers out is so I could see where these will sit. So you might be able to see there, there's a kind of uh, silver that will completely cover over the side of the body there. And then the black will cover the bottom. So the idea is that I want this part to be light blue and the bonnets. So as you can see, I've drawn a line there, a fine line, and that will be where the masking will go and you won't see the join underneath the stickers. Well, that's the plan anyway, so I need to get the window masks on and get a bit of masking onto that line. So it's just the three window masks to cut out. With those cut out, just going to snip a little bit of the backing off of this one and then align it on the inside. Get into place as best you can and just push that first bit down. Just check again, it looks about right, and just push it across. Again, and then press from the inside outwards and it's just the very edges that you need to make sure they've got really good contact and just get the other two on in the same way That's most of the masking done, just got to finish doing the front here, um, but the main part I want, want to check is this line here, and I've also put some masking up on the, the pillar there, the door pillar, uh, but I want to, to be the light blue. So just a final check with those stickers, and yeah, it looks like it's where I want it to be, so that uh, joint will be underneath the stickers as I said before. So now it's time to finish that off the front and get the dark blue on the back. So we're out in the greenhouse for a bit of spraying in December. <laughs> Hope it goes okay. As you can see, there's a bit of uh, tin foil I've just used to mask off the front to save a bit of uh, tape. This is a good job, as you'll see. 
So let's have a go at getting this glue on. It covers really well, I've got to say. Just going to try and get in all the nooks and crannies, but uh, I'll give it a bit of a dust like that and let it dry. And back three coats and job should be a good one. So that's the dark blue dry, looks a nice colour on the inside, doesn't look quite so good on the outside with the film on but we'll sort that later. So it's time to get all this masking and foil off then. And we'll see how it looks. So there we have it and uh, I think it's been quite successful. There's uh, no bleed so that's all good. So now it's just time to go and spray on the light blue. And surprisingly this light blue is covering really well as well, look at that. Excellent. So that's about three coats of the blue, and that's dry now, and as you can see I've taken off the window masks, and yeah, normal Tamiya window masks, very clean lines. So last thing to do, last spray job is PS31 smoke. Uh, this is probably the most tricky paint to put on because if you put too much on and it runs, it will look absolutely awful. Uh, so the best thing to do with this is lots of very, very light coats from quite a distance as well. Make sure you really give it a good shake. And as I said, from a bit of a distance, just a very light coating. You probably can't see that on camera, but yeah, just a very, very light go at it like that and then let it dry and about probably four or five more coats like that and uh, jobs are good in. Right then, back from the greenhouse and uh, all the painting's finished and time for my favorite part, which is getting this protective coat off and let's have a look at that paint here we go never comes off in one piece does it shiny shiny we've got mostly off in one piece whoa what a difference well we'll see if the uh, stickers actually go against that background let's find out can't wait to start putting them on and although it tells you in the manual to put them on in numbered order, I don't think it really matters where they're not overlapping. So I'm going to start and uh, get this one on first and then the black one up here on the back and uh, take a look at it. Just take this bit of the backing off so we can get it lined up at the front. Yeah, it lines up with uh, that uh, panel of the door there or the bottom of the door I think it's supposed to be. So uh, yeah, well, let's get this one stuck on. What I'm going to do though is leave this last piece on because that might have to overlap the next sticker, we'll see. So I'm just going to cut it and leave that unstuck if you know what I mean. So just pushing down on the middle of the sticker and then we'll work to the outside. So there you go, sticker number one, I think it went on quite easily. Just left that loose at the back there. It all seems to line up quite nicely. So now for this one that's got a line up with the end of that sticker there. And the wheel arch of course. Okay. Yeah looking that sticker was going to go over the top there so I'm, going to, uh, I'm glad I didn't stick that down. There we go. Not a bad start. And I quite like the way the colours go. So you've got these chrome stickers that I'm not going to use um, for the little wing on the back as well. Um, that's supposed to cover over there in chrome but I prefer it with my bit of uh, body blue sticking through. So let's get a few more stickers on. Thank you. 
that's the stickers done. We'll have a look in a minute. Just got to fix the uh, wing on, and that's the last stage for me now. So, just to ream the three mil holes in here, and the three holes in the body where it's going to mount. We're just going to fit that wing on with these three kind of flat headed screws, so six mil long, and the very shallow um, lock nuts. Okay, it's a bit fiddly but uh, it's on now, so let's have a look at the body. So there we have it, and it's certainly very different to box art, don't you think? I'm quite pleased with the way it's come out. It's, uh, the sticker job was a lot easier than the recent rally bodies that I've been doing, and I do like the contrast with the light blue, the darker blue, and then the accents with the light blue again on the, on the back and on the side at the bottom. And I think the, the blue really does make the red pop, really does stand out. So uh, let's get this on the chassis and take a look. So there we have it. I'm calling that finished, job done. And uh, all I've got to say is I really did enjoy building this. It's a great kit to build, I totally recommend it. Um, it's good to go different to box art in my opinion now and again. Uh, use your own uh, imagination, see what you can come up with. And uh, I've got to say thanks to Rob Brown, my good friend, for giving me this kit as a present. So all I've got to do now is get some batteries charged up, get this out on the dirt and uh, go and have some fun with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.